Dr. Malik, would you like to respond to that? Because uh, this is uh, interestingly the same hospital which was under the scanner a few years ago, where in which about 49 infants had died as well, where the parents complained that it was because of lack of medicine, lack of oxygen, at the same time where you had the encephalitis breakout, outbreak. Um, as a pediatrician, I can tell you it is a case of gross medical negligence because you cannot refuse a lady who is already uh, undergoing the labor pain and it is a very pathetic situation that the lady is uh, delivering in the veranda. I must tell you that labor is a very high risk situation. During this situation, even postpartum hemorrhages can occur, the lady can even die for that matter and even the baby, if he doesn't take a first breath, within 5 to 10 minutes, you know, even uh, a brain damage can occur to the baby. So, by and large, it is a very, very pathetic situation. Mm -hmm. It is a careless attitude, whatever of administration of the doctors over there. It is, it is not at all acceptable by any standards. So, uh, I am really shocked right. to see uh, such a kind of affair because, you know, when a lady is uh, during the period of uh, labor, when she is going to the doctor, lot many uh, professionals are required, not only the midwife nurses, but also a pediatrician, also a gynecologist and with of course set of instruments to deal with any kind of emergency. And we need to have an availability of oxygen, mm -hmm. that to two points of oxygen at that time when the delivery is happening because anything can happen to the baby right. and the mother. So it is very important. It is a pathetic but, but situation. But Dr. Malik, is, is this the same issue that we've discussed in the past public. as well? In in promises that were made with respect to the Ayushman Bharat scheme and promises that were made with respect to the PS, the PM SMA scheme here, uh, specifically uh, having uh, pregnant expectant women as beneficiaries to this scheme that there is still lack of infrastructure on what is being promised. We've looked at Ayushman Bharat being there on ground for the past year and a half on what has been promised cannot be delivered on ground. In this case in point in the hospital where the hospital said we don't have any beds. Sorry, you need to go away. This definitely shows the scarcity of uh, the medical personnel the lack of infrastructure and the kind of attitude what the professionals have towards the patient. So it shows lot many things. It, it also shows that there is the ratio between doctor and patient is less. The bed available for the patients, they are very less. And uh, as far as the Ayushman Bharat scheme is concerned, of course, it is a very good scheme. But I must tell you that if you need to give uh, medical care to 10 crore of families, 100 million people, if you are uh, 100 million families, you want to give care, you need to have a very, very strong infrastructure. You need to have very strong primary health centers. As I've come to know, this is the only big government hospital in whole Farukabad. So I don't think that um, with this kind of right. an infrastructure, it will be it will be a little difficult for us to implement that. We played out those reactions with respect to an assurance uh, that uh, uh, with. Uh concerning the shocking case here that has taken place in Farukabad, uh, does this sound as a good enough, good enough assurance? Because we are looking at a very basic medical health care service that needs to be provided at a hospital to a woman who goes into labor. And to say that we will look into this, strong action would be taken on why this has happened. Does that sound like an assurance enough to tell the people that this would mean an upgradation in medical look, services sometime look, soon. Look, the thing is, for such an incidence, there should be a strong deterrence to the administrators of the hospital and, of course, to the That's professionals. Right. You know, imagine this is happening in a multi-speciality hospital. It is absolutely careless. It is indefensible. It is a callous attitude, totally insensitive attitude, which should now shake up our conscience. So it is very important that a strong action should be taken against uh, this kind of a medical negligence. That is one point. But my point of concern is something different. This is happening in one hospital. What is happening throughout the country is also very important for us to understand. Unless we improve the infrastructure, unless we increase the uh, budget allocated uh, in the GDP to health, Unless we improve our primary health centers, these type of problems will be occurring because there is a big scarcity of, uh, it is just a tip of the iceberg. There might be lot many other females who have also delivered in the corridors of the hospitals and it has not got the attention of the media. So the basic thing is that we should now have a razor sharp focus 
and try to improve the health care of our country i must tell you maternal mortality rate and infant mortality rate in our country although it is less than before but it is still very much high you can imagine that infant mortality rate is almost 45 per 1000 as compared to the developed countries where only seven children they die out of uh, 1000 so it is a maternal care is very important and especially the delivery care is very important not only to take care of the mortalities but for the morbidities also. That's right. And it is very important that day to day monitoring of this inquiry should be taken so that there should be a deterrence to the other hospitals and other professionals in the country also that this thing should never get